seems like you like me too. We can't take it slow. We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are having a braai. And here's the braai. There's the marina, the Rubicon Marina. And over there is Playa Blanca. Um, and it is, it just came in and anchored <coughs> and now busy having a barbecue. Shame, uh, I was busy doing my 100 point check, all the stanchions and stuff and this guy with, uh, this hydrofoil is a, a wasp. He comes past here and he, and, and it's just a funny wave and he got whacked. And he, when, well, he was there for a while and no one looking and he's waving that side and then eventually I decided maybe I should go because he doesn't pick, well, he tried to pick it up but he, he doesn't pick it up. So I put the picks in the water and then I got there and his mast was broken. He capsized so fast that he actually broke his mast. Sure. So he couldn't pick it up even if he wanted to. Yeah. And he was, he was hanging on that little blue drum, I think it's a mooring something. Sure. Because the rocks is just there. So when I picked him up, we also were drifting closer and closer to the rocks. Like, ah! <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so dismantle it and we we took him back there and he's, he's happy. He's, yeah. a, he's a new YouTube subscriber. Oh, cool. <laughs> because well, I see you rolling up the sail. It's like rolling up a bloody towel. Yeah, yeah, we had to take the sail off. Otherwise, it will just start flying yeah, again. Yeah. Or flapping, flapping, flapping. So you, and the wind is, yeah, I think the wind is now at almost 20 knots. Yeah, it's 18, it's 20 knots. So it is not nice. <laughs> um, so for the bird guy. Yeah, so we had to roll it up. Take the mass. The mass is actually coming into two parts. And the boom. And now there's a sort of lines and stuff. But yeah, we managed to, yeah. to get him back safely there. We got e-scooters. And they so now here in Tipex, nicely folded up. So let's go and see if we can drive these scooters. Okay, I'm gonna have to build muscles <laughs> so heavy. to take it this side. I seriously have to work on my game plan. <laughs> Yucky cold weather coming and look at the volcano tops are all covered in this heavy clouds. So it's Pietru's birthday today. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> and we decided to go on a scooter ride, something like 20 kilometers. So we're going to push this batteries and see how far I can go. So we reached a destination, my birthday restaurant, and it looks amazing. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. The yeah. bikes made it, yeah. <laughs> let alone us. Um, Salt for sale. I wonder why. Yeah. 
the table looks perfect though. Can I go after the glass? Sit? Yes, yes, yes. Minder, minder. And look at our beautiful view. These scooters are super cool, but they are. It's like our um, sail ride sewing machine. They are very heavy. And we, I've just got half an arm. So I can't even attempt to pick it up. I but think it's good. even if you, if you have two good arms. You think I'm going to battle? Yeah. But I think it's. Yeah, a, I think I will still battle. You will not battle. <laughs> it's a good workout. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is. But, but you wanted them. No pain, no and gain. I, I, yeah, I thought I'm going to go to to electric scooters. So I don't need to exercise anymore. Now you get because ten bicycle. times the exercise. <laughs> You know karma. You know karma. Have you met karma? <laughs> I met she her got again. You. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful bikes. And <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Thanks to me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems like you're dropping clues There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night and to the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Into the morning building chemistry And I don't think I ever wanna go come closer We are getting hold out So the guys are getting the machine there in place Pietro is getting all the lines ready I think they're going to go to the side They're going to go to the side with them So yeah Just close by the side Yeah So we want to upload the next movie and also do some general updates and upgrades and things like that because all the laptops they need upgrades we've got the scooters down there so I'm going to we ask a friend or um, we've been buying now and staying with him now for a long time eating almost on a very regular basis at this restaurant and he has very fast internet so we're going to ask him if he if we can if we can use his internet and then we can maybe upload the next movie Hou rechts Dit is op camera, op beide los Sí, por esta 
gente que ha tenido a bien de invitarnos a esta ronda de cerveza. Suena el que bebe. Se emborracha. El que se emborracha. Bebe. Quien duerme. No, no pega. <risa> Chafing. So I've got these things and they are um, just basically Dyneema strips or sleeves and we're going to try and put the, the lines inside here so that this is chafing and not the line. It's been a Karaliert and it is a it takes a lot of stress at the point where it comes out of the mast and also right up there we want to make sure we, we're going to have a long passage and it's going to run almost the the code will be almost all the time up so i need to find out where and if i look carefully it looks like here looks like i'm it's been a little bit flattened so i think this shiny part of here is one potential so we need to take it all the way to the chafing place so you need to do it like this. Okay. So you can see here yeah, it's definitely chafe. And we're going to target this now. Then so the chafing is now starting there and there. So these parts I'm going to use now to actually thread it inside this other line. Now I'm going to tape this up. You have to make it as tight as possible so you don't make a, it doesn't it does you don't want it to move. Okay, so this is now the part that I'm going to to use as chafing and this I'm going to use now to thread it inside this one. So I need now to undo all of this. Take it apart. So it's in great hundreds of these little threads now i'm dividing that half of the strings is going this way and other half is going that way now i'm going to thread it in You can see I've got now two here already. One is there and another one is there. I'm taking every third one, so I need to like skip two. So I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to take this one. And the reason is these ones are, I'm going to make it long and then every second one a little bit shorter and the third one even shorter. This takes much longer <laughs> than you think it will take. Um, it's already in the afternoon and I've done so far this. So you can see all of these ones is coming out so that the second row is now finished and now I need to tackle the last couple. And then... This is Sisu in Pietro's provisioning state. Basically chaos lots of tea and snacks i like the snacks there's lots of snacks for night shifts there's even more snacks over there oh i think no. half of it is is beer and the other half is snacks and then there's a little <laughs> bit of food it's a little bit of food too okay all that noise is Pietro is, is doing provision for the crossing the atlantic crossing and she's also making some actually Sucking out all the bugs. Uh, so Sisu is completely in disarray because everywhere is now food and stuff. And then we also got this. Look at that! It's amazing, Iberico hum. So we are ready to go back into the water and. 
it's a weird feeling to be sitting on a boat and you turn like this on the ground, on the hard. To me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think you were meant to be with me, talking to the night and to the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think. We've done all our stuff, water is full, mast is clean and lubricated with Teflon and now it's time to ask them to go. Uh, Rubicon Marina, Rubicon Marina, Rubicon Marina, this is Sisu, 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 over. Marina, this is Sisu Bondia. Um, permission to go to the fuel dock and check out? Sisu, Sisu, Marina, Rubicon, you can go ahead, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Look at our speed. And we're doing that with 12 knots through wind. Guess what? We've got our brand new sails up. We are going now so fast that with 10 knots of true wind we need to start reefing. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at the sails. It looks awesome. We got our, I know yellow is for diesel, but we couldn't get blue or transparent at the channel where we were. So we got this, so we've got some spare water and wow, these sail shapes. They look absolutely fantastic. I would like to take a drone shot, but at this moment we know from the past that between between that island and the next island we, that is Lanzarote Island and the next one that we're going to is Gran Canaria the sea is just crazy it's a serious acceleration zone I'm busy making our first cup of coffee not for the day but for the morning maybe we had a crazy night and we came here and anchored here. This is the Gran Canaria, the Las Palmas uh, Marina. And this is the anchorage which is normally used by the Ark people. Yeah, last night's sails was. was, was <laughs> we tried to slow down and we tried to slow down, but at one point we did not want to go out and, and reef because we were, we were going downwind, through wind. We're going. The wind from on our on our basically from here. So for us to go and reef, you have to like turn around completely into those waves and reef. And and we were not at reefing point. We were not even at reefing point for reef one, but we had reef both that one and the Genoa in order to try and slow us down. And <laughs> we were going just crazily fast. <laughs> Are we? We on our way to check out, we can go all the way there, but with the dinghy, it's much closer to go there, but we're not allowed to go there. With the so, big boats off. <laughs> yeah, apparently they say there are bigger boats than Tipex. <laughs> they. I don't think we can get into a contest with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our scooters, we got the trash, we've got our passports here in the back. Saying goodbye to the canaries. We will not be back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a, it is 
it is a stretch to get here so this is the office and it's right at the entrance here so you actually come in here and then this is a visitor's dock but the dinghy dock is like on that on the other side of that one and you go 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 all the way very far we got our exit stamps and lots of questions about the Greece Greek one <laughs> COVID time this COVID here is crazy but we are legally out of Spain and we are now going to get onto Sisu and Vamos! <laughs> Doesn't look like we're going to have much of wind when we're pushing off. Yeah. Oh, weighing anchor and bamboos. <laughs> I don't know that what. That will be a nice calm departure. But that's the way we departed in Cape Town as well. It was nice and calm and we had dolphins and our very, very first trip. So, um, I think it's a good time to put fishing lines up. We might be eating fish tonight. Well, I think we should start fishing from the start and, yeah. and just keep on putting the lines up.